Hey everyone, video we're going to be making this enemy star moon shown here. This reference image from searching at Google. I like the blue moon type colors. You can use any type of uh, colors you want. But for this one, I'm going to use this as a reference. So here we are at our default scene. So to get started, we're going to delete the cube and then add a UV sphere. And we can keep all the default settings. Deep sphere doesn't matter. And we're going to right click and fade smooth. And that's The model of it. Now we're going to go to our shading tab. We're going to make a new material. Call this material moon. Who is it? It's from BSDN. And next. Uh, we have to add in the moon texture. So you can download it off of uh, NASA's site. The link in the description. I'm going to drag out the file that I downloaded it on here. There we are. And then if you view this, uh, it shows you the moon already. That's the texture of the moon already. Okay, so from here we're going to uh, add in our add in some colors. So we're going to shift A and color ramp. It's in the middle. All right, so I'm going to change this black to. I'm going to use the eyedropper and pick the blue color. Pick another one for the one for darker, darker blue. Then we can move this around so you can see the This okay, so from here, um, we want brighter, we want more vibrant colors. So, I'm going to set the color management the render properties. So, render properties. Color management, view, transform, we make the standard. Here, the color is more clear. Okay, now. Now from the picture, there's more white than this and this uh, blue through here. So I'm going to add in some white spots, uh, just faintly. Add a musgrave text and a noise text. And we could view this to see which one. Scale. Same with the noise. All 
Okay. Next, we're going to add XRBG to frame them together. This one. These two. We have this, and then we can just add to the control. Be the sponsor. And you can also put in another another corner. I can control it this way. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Now that we have that, next is to mix these two together. So we're going to add another mix RBG. And in the, uh, in the second color. All right, so this is what we have. We could use this to. Oh. Or it's optional if you need it, if you want. I just like it right here. Okay. Next, we're going to add in the emission. Emission shader. Put it at the emission. This and then, then we're going to go to our render properties here at the bloom. In order to see this, we're going to have to go into render view. And then turn the strength off. See that being brighter. We'll have this glow effect turn up high enough. The problem with this is that if you turn it up too high, you get the glow effect, but you lose the texture of the moon. So we're going to have to. The way I'm going to do it is to uh, have it separate. What I'm going to do is uh, add in a plane just for the, the glow part of the moon. Plane. Then I'm going to get it. In the exponent, here is because scale it up. I add a new material for this plane. The moon glow. So for this one, we're gonna get rid of the pencil PSPF, and we're going to add in a gradient texture. Let's set it to here. We're gonna add in a mapping node and a Use the object as the vector, vector, vector. To see how this is, it. Yep. 
it should be this is the uh looks like this it just doesn't so we're just gonna cover the the one in the middle and just have this outer flow only all right so now we're going to control how much flow and the color red and it to be split into here Oh, it is. Okay. Next, I'm going to add in a vision shader, the color, and I'm going to change the color to blue. This blue. blue. And then we want we want the glow, so we have to make the black part transparent. So transparent. Yeah. Then we're gonna mix these two together. Mix shader. This is gonna be controlled of how transparent. This in here. Okay, we have this, but it's not exactly transparent. We have to go to the material properties here with our plane selected and choose alpha blend. And shadows. Yes. Okay. Not this. And then we can increase the emission of this too. The bigger, the bigger if you want. All right. So now, um, that looks good. Okay, so now, um, if not to get this white outline here, or right here,
you would have to go what I'm gonna do is go back to the moon settings, moon shader, and add in a new material for it. Color called material. Moon outline. Change this to conditions. It's and then turn on back face calling. Identify modify. Click the normals clip. Here is set to one. What this does is gonna hurt the normals identify outwards. Make it make it to get this. Increase the mission for this. All right. There you have it. Let's take this. So one other problem is that since we have a plane for the glow, uh, it's only seen from like one direction. So if you have a uh, if I have a layout, if I have a layout in uh, any mode. It's only seen if we click it. We use this camera. Zero. And then let's see, go to view. Preview. I can only see from. It's only good on one angle. So in order to fix that from any angle, I'm going to select my plane. Go to the object constraints and track two. And target the target, I'm going to click my camera. This will crack my camera. It tracks the camera's point of view and it will be going on all sides no matter where the camera's view is. Okay, so there we go. That's it for that's how you make this enemy style moon. And, uh, I hope it was uh helpful for you guys.